Hi there, Mike Kelly again with Animators Forum. And because my good friend Wes, who I would not be able to even run the forum, my co-admin and, uh, and best buddy I've never met, uh, asked me to see how the uh, face creator worked with females. I thought I would throw this up real quick. I already explained a little bit in the, in the thread. Uh, obviously, females are less funny than males, I guess, as you say, you know, there's less female comedians, I don't know. And we like our women to be pretty and, and not so goofy looking. But um, what I figured out is that uh, due to the lack of things like facial hair, and believe me, you do not want your women with facial hair, and uh, and, and other things, um, the, the possibilities are a lot more restricted. I think here, uh, I think I figured out I have about uh, anywhere between 70 and 100,000 different combinations of heads that will come up. And that might sound like a lot, and, and it is a lot, but in comparison to the men, uh, the men's uh, heads were, uh, I, I think, in the several millions. So um, so we have, we have fewer possibilities, uh, but it's still interesting to look at, and, and you do get um, some nice looking ones. Also, the other thing that happens with women is that you tend to have to do more editing. I'm gonna, I'll show you that as we go along, only because their hairstyles are a lot more complicated and they do sit both behind and in front of their heads. So with, as with men, generally you don't have to deal with as much with the hair coming down both the shoulders. There's not as much editing, that you, but there's still very little editing that has to be done with this. So, so anyway, I thought I would just show it. So here's the... Uh, Here's a head to start with. I'm just going to start pressing the, the button, uh, assuming that, I've, that that program has the focus. And you'll see, as I press the button, all these different kinds of heads coming up. And um, one of the things that I'm not changing in this is that I'm not changing the uh, lid color. You notice that the, uh, the top lid colors are all um, uh, this light blue. Uh, if I... Let's get to a head that I think is attractive. If I if I wanted to change this, I've got that set as a style. So I can go in here to uh, to the top of the lids and change that color. Um, I originally was going to randomize that, but what tends to happen in actual practice is that you have to kind of coordinate that with the hair color and the lips. The same thing with the lips. I leave the lips color the same color all the time. It's a style as opposed to those of you that know programming know that you cannot programmatically when Lua changed the styles You can't edit the styles programmatically, so it's uh, It was just easier just to leave them this way and then and then let you uh, pick the style So once you get a head you like you can you can do the color combinations that way But you can see that that that, that gives you quite a different look even just changing the the eyelid color and the lip color so so that's um, so that's that. And so let me just get around to one here that um, I'm trying to see if I can show you. I also have, I don't know, I'll try to keep this family rated. I've also in, in, included in these uh, the, uh, the measure, the top measurements, the chestal areas, as, as uh, Seinfeld might say, uh, only because that's another area in which women do, do differ and it distinguishes them a little bit. So there are some differences there uh, that I like to take into account, and um, and that that makes different women too. So uh, I have that. Uh, you can't see all of it, but I do have that as part of the screen here, um, and um, that gives them a little bit different. So you can see, as I go through, we get we get different looks. There's there's a lot of the, the not as as much variety without the facial hair, and not uh, also because the ears in women are often hidden by their hairstyles, like that one there. You can't get the the ears to change as much as you get with the men, and uh, also the noses tend to be fairly similar looking. I've tried to include a variety of noses when I can, but they um, you're not going to put any big honkers on women unless you unless you're doing a Barbara Streisand. Although she she looks a little bit like Barbara Streisand there. One of the things I should mention too from both the the male and the and the women's models is that. This thing only gets better with age. I drew all of these shapes in an afternoon. Uh, it didn't take me very long to create all of these different uh, possibilities, and and I'll, I'll just keep adding to it as the as I, the need or not the need, but the the feel arises as I decide to add some more shapes. And then of course, then it'll just get better and better. The faces will get more uh, more diverse, and uh, I'm probably not going to do too much more with the men, but I will do more with the women because I'm not. Uh, getting, like I say, as many varieties. In particular, uh, 
Uh, oh, and the other thing I want to do too, and I don't have it here now, you notice the mouths, there are two different mouths with the women's, um, but the mouths don't vary much in placement. Uh, with the men, I found that varying the mouths up and down on the screen uh, didn't work really well. I, I do have them rotate slightly uh, at times, and I have them sized, and I do the same thing with the women. But with the men, I found leaving the mouth in the one position even with different mouths is better. With the women, I actually think that moving the mouths around makes a little bit more interesting look. So I'm going to I'm going to improve the algorithm to actually change the positioning of the mouth for women only. The same script uh, randomizes for both men and women. It can distinguish between the two on the basis of data driven. For example, the women only have two different mouths in my setup. Uh, there's just a, what I call a female mouth and a girl mouth. Uh, the men have four or five mouths, so it can tell just on that basis alone whether it's dealing with a man or a woman and adjust uh, certain parameters accordingly. Also, I talked about this a little bit. I had to refine this for the men. Uh, the ears and the men are always on top because men, as a general rule, their hair doesn't cover up their ears. But women, about half the time, their their hair covers up their ears. So like in this style here, it's data driven. So if you go down to the head hair here, the, the one that's chosen is called no ears. And anything that has no ears in front of it, uh, the program knows automatically to go in and remove the ear, which, which normally is on top. It just sets it to none. So anyway, so there you have it. Now you've seen uh, the men and the women. And, and just like the men, the um, you know if I get a, a woman, a particular one that I like, and there's lots of different ones that I like here. But if I get one I like, I, I can also go in and change the ethnicity, the skin, to the skin tone. And, and uh, she's very Indian looking, perhaps. And you get a whole different set of uh, styles that way. So there you have it. And that is uh, my face creator.